step 14, create a symmetrical L-shaped extrusion. This command is used to transform the part symmetrically from one side of a plane or surface to another. The following steps will take you through this process. Select the symmetry tool from the toolbars at the right side of your screen. It is one of the sub-options found when the arrow is selected on the Transformation Features toolbar. The symmetry definition window will now appear on your screen. The reference box is prompting for a plane or surface to be selected. For this lesson, select the left side surface of the L-shaped extrusion. The outline of the new part will be highlighted in orange to show where the symmetrical part will be created. Now select OK button. The L-shaped extrusion should now be replaced with the symmetrical part on the other side of the selected surface. Notice that the specification tree now has a new branch called Symmetry.1. demonstrate how to mirror the L-shape extrusion. Select the bottom side of the base leg of the L-shape extrusion. The entire outline of the surface should highlight in red. If only one line is highlighted, you haven't selected the surface. Reselect the surface until the entire profile is highlighted. Select the mirror tool from the right side of the screen. The mirror definition window will appear on the screen. Notice that in the mirror element box, it shows that face.3 has been selected. This should be the surface you had selected previously. Now select the OK button and the part will be mirrored around the bottom surface of the base leg of the L-shaped extrusion. As with the other tools, a mirror.1 branch is added to the specification tree. Mirroring the L-shaped extrusion changed the part shape from an L to a T. Save the cat part as T-shape extrusion dot cat part using the save as command. Now you have two separate cat parts, the L-shape extrusion and the T-shape extrusion. The remainder of this lesson and lessons 3 and lesson 4 will reference to the T-shape extrusion. The current T-shape extrusion is not the standard male T extrusion. To make the extrusion represent a standard male T extrusion, remove the chamfer created in step 8 by selecting chamfer.1 from the specification tree and then pressing the delete key or select the cut tool. The original part along with the mirrored part will update with the chamfer removed. The mirrored entity is still part of the same part body. This means that there is still just one part